So it has been, this is day four. Um, technically I could have gotten everything done in three days, but um, due to other things I had to do, we are finally done processing the three turkeys. <clears throat> so I wanted to show you what, what I got um, for the three turkeys and then just kind of, you know, this wasn't a step-by-step -step tutorial. I have plenty of videos on that and I have linked them. Um, but as far as just like an overview of everything you can do with a turkey to not waste. So let me show you. Hi everyone and welcome back. I wanted to show you today how I process my turkeys. So first I cut off the thigh and breast meat and now I'm making a broth. I add all the vegetables, celery, garlic, onions, carrots, bay leaf, salt and pepper, sweet potato because it adds freshness and color and a little bit of sweetness. Fill it up with water, a little bit of apple cider vinegar and you're going to have an excellent broth. And it doesn't matter if there's a little meat on it. It is just extra flavor that you can just pick off. And it's going to go for about 24 to 36 hours. All right. So to do turkey, canned turkey, um, you can choose to can it in water. You can choose to can it in broth. You can do a seasoned broth. I'm actually kind of leaning towards a seasoned broth on this one. Um, just make sure you don't use sage because sage becomes bitter during the canning process so if you're wanting it to be sagey um i don't even know if that's a word but if you're wanting that wait until you take it out of the jar um but of course if you wanted to freeze this then by all means do um do sage but i have so much chicken that i just found severely on sale uh 43 cents a pound that I do not need. <laughs> I don't need this to be frozen. Uh, so it kind of changed a little bit of how I'm doing this, but that's n neither here nor there. To can the turkey, you want to know whether you're going to be par cooking the turkey or um, canning it raw. I, as I've said many times, would rather take the extra step to go ahead and par cook it. That way um, it looks better in the jar. It stays together in the little chunks instead of becoming just a glob that shreds and it smells better. And the jars are cleaner. Um, but you wanna just take a knife. I have the breast and thighs of my three turkeys. If you want a more in-depth and you're just wanting to cut them in about or one chicken, inch cubes, I will leave the link below or above. But essentially, you want to take your like so turkey meat and fill it to an inch of headspace. And then, space. and then with our homemade packing, stock, I'm going to take that fat you off to not throw, throw it right away. I will show you how to use it later. Right like that. And then after you take one all the fat headspace. that's come but up to the gonna top, go and go ahead and fill your jars to an inch of headspace, and then debubble, wipe the rim. And then go ahead and put your lids and rings on and put them in the canner. These are going to go for 90 minutes. I have 10 pounds of pressure from my altitude because I am going to be canning them in quartz today. And don't they look beautiful. I cannot wait to have these on my shelf. Okay, so what I got. This is essentially uh, the products while it's not all. So here is six quarts of my cubed turkey breast that I canned up. And I canned it in the stock that I made. So I had to um, refrigerate the cubes until the stock was done. I let the stock go for about 36 hours. It is a beautiful rich color and it is delicious so i canned 
the turkey in its own stock. Uh, and then I have been canning the stock. So I have nine pints and then I have seven quarts going right now. It's coming up to pressure and I have another four quarts waiting to be processed and then the stock will be done. Um, I also have shredded meat. I'm not sure how much, um, but I do have shredded meat from where I had cooked the legs, thighs, and wings, and then took the meat off once it was cooked in the roaster. Uh, and I stuck it in the freezer for easy, uh, easy freezer meals or whatever, meal prep. This is something I really wanted to make sure to tell you guys about, and that is uh, the fat. Make sure you save the fat. So this is how much fat I got off of um, three turkeys minus the tiny bit that's there. Um, so here's a quart that just has that little bit and it is a gelled. Oh, it's so rich. Um, so I essentially have two quarts plus this whole pint most of this pint and then a little bit of this pint um which the broth i'm going to use in a soup uh, when i go to strain these this isn't their forever home they are going to stay in the fridge but um it'll last for a very long time in the fridge but i wanted to talk about it um i'm pretty sure chicken fat's called schmaltz i'm pretty positive that's how you pronounce it i'm not sure what turkey fat's called if it's called the same if like poultry is universal or if it's something else or just turkey fat but you can use turkey fat to make dumplings you can use it to make biscuits um it's a nice savory fat that you can use but i wanted to say that you don't want to use it in something that you don't want to taste like turkey. Because this isn't like rendering tallow or lard where you're using a clean fat. And I have a video on that. Um, I will leave it linked. But it, it's not the same. This was slow cooked <laughs> for 36 hours. It tastes and smells like turkey. Um, so it is definitely not something you would want to use, like, say, in a soap or um, lotion or anything like that. Um, it is going to take on the flavor of turkey. So that's why I said, like, dumplings, biscuits, uh, even a pie crust for, like, um, chicken pot pie, turkey pot pie. Um, anything like that would be good. But it'll last so long in your fridge. So all I'm going to be doing is um, heating. And if you want to see that, let me know down in the comment section. I'll make a quick video on it. Um, essentially, I'm going to melt it all back down. Strain it all through um, a strainer. And I won't be putting the stock um, in the melted stuff. Um, I'm going to be separating all that. And then essentially just making sure there's no um, food particles or anything else in the fat. Put it back in probably two quarts jars or whatever and then stick it in my fridge and it's good to go. Also, save your peanut butter lids. They're perfect for this. Um, so yeah, so that is all I have to say to you guys. Um, I wanted to show you, I've never done a video on everything you can get from a turkey because I don't like to waste especially when you're getting them for 33 cents a pound it's like why would you waste any of that I mean you wouldn't want to waste it anyway but you're getting so much bang for your buck you have fat to use for months on baked goods you have stock for soups or rice or just to drink um, because it is a bone broth stock that's the only way I make it I don't just make flat uh, bone broth. I, I put flavor in it. And then, of course, we have our turkey. Plus, we have our freezer turkey that's not pictured. So, I say this was well worth the three days that it took to do all this. Um, 
it would have taken less time, but again, I had to wait for the stock. But I hope you guys have a wonderful, what day is it today? Monday. I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. And I will bring you along for my next video. I have so many things I want to do this week. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching.